Hi everybody, welcome to part two. Um, today what we are going to do is continue our last video where we made a graphene sheet and added vacuum in the C dimension. And now what we are going to do is you're going to insert C60 into the heterostructure. So to begin, what we are going to do is open up the unit cell for crystalline C60. I happen to have this here. You can see here we have C60, it looks like it's a face-centered cubic packed uh, structure. Um, and now what we are going to do is we have to isolate a single C60 molecule from here. So we are going to go to boundary and we are going to expand this two by two by two, press apply. Okay, now you can see in the center, uh, there is a C60 molecule there. So let's click this A, just to center where we need to be and select uh, this arrow. And we're just gonna cut around this structure here. The computer's a little slow. Okay. And just to be safer, we're not gonna really even get near this center C60 yet. Just gonna cut health, healthily around it. So in a way, what we've done is actually recut the original unit cell, just sort of shifted. And we'll cut here. And so you can actually see what the original unit cell sort of looked like here. And now what we are going to do is just very carefully take out these edge uh, atoms. Okay. You do have to be careful when you do this. Okay, I think that looks good. So now what we are going to do is we are going to file export data. And we're going to save this as a XYZ file. So I'll just add underscore XYZ and the name, and then it's gonna save dot XYZ. Save. And no, do not save hidden atoms. Okay. Now you can exit out of here. Here's what we're going to do. Open up the VAST file from last video. So if you don't have this yet, please go to part one of this two part series and, or, or maybe three parts, who knows? I'm, or four parts, I'm open to suggestions on how I can uh, extend these series. Double click here. Okay, this will bring you to our uh, previously made graphing unit cell. And now here's what we're gonna do. So let's go to edit, edit data, phase. Okay. And let us go to import C60XYZ, open apply and there is the c60 i just sort of randomly put it there now we have to move it to be down here and so what we will do is you can see in this global reference frame uh, we have the dimensions there so we are going to take c60 and move it along the x-axis uh, let's move it about four so that'd be here minus four Let's try minus eight, a little bit more, maybe minus 10. That's just a little too much. Let's go minus 8.5. Actually, maybe minus eight was okay. I'd say that's good. And now we wanna move it down, let's say minus four. Let's see how that works. Uh, to better gauge this, let's use the space filling feature. Okay, so let's now do to minus six uh let's go minus eight there we go press okay uh and now actually what we do want to do is move it a little bit in the y dimension so let's go to back to edit data unit cell phase c60 and let's move it minus 
two. Uh, let's try minus three, how that looks. Let's do minus 3.5. That looks good. Select OK. Back to ball and stick model. And there you have it. There is our structure. So now what we will do is we will file. OK, actually now what we have to do is we are going to, we have to resave this as a XYZ and for these new coordinates. So position the unit cell like this. And then we are going to cut the atoms that fall outside of the unit cell. And then we have to cut this dimension here. This was discussed in the previous video. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to file export data. We are going to graphite. We're going to save this graphite five by five by one underscore C60 underscore XYZ. Hit save. Do not save hidden atoms. Okay, now what we have to do is what we are going to do is go into this graphite VASP. Oh, oops, sorry, not graphite VASP. Go into graphite 5x5x1 five by five by VASP. Select everything and then make a new file. And we are going to call it graphite 5x5x1 five by five by c60.vasp and then paste the previous result there and delete the coordinates that were in there. And now go to graphite 5x5x1 five by five by c60xyz. You can see we have 160 atoms. Select these. Go into our new VASP file. Change the number of atoms from 100 to 160. Paste. Delete the carbon atom identifier. Save. Exit out. And now let's exit out of everything. And open our VASP file. And there we have it. So here is how you make a graph graphene C60 interface. Let's make it uh, extend it two by two. Uh, delete the top row here. You can see it's a very elegant looking interface. Uh, this, these are the coordinates that we will put into our electronic structure software package. And um, this, these coordinates here in this graph, graphite, this should be graphene. That's okay though. Uh, these 160 atoms would go into your unit cell and you might say, oh, well, 160 atoms, that might be computationally intensive for uh, density functional uh, theory calculations. It's not too expensive because these are just carbon atoms and each carbon atom has only four valence electrons. Uh, so it's not that computationally intensive. It'd be the same as doing maybe 40 uh, platinum atoms where each one has like, uh, I don't know, eight electrons or something like that. So, something of that nature, right? or I don't know. Uh, but because carbon only has four, uh, it's not that computationally intensive to have 160 of them. Uh, okay, so thanks again for tuning in. If there's any other video you would like me to do, uh, please let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, take care.